welcome back to my channel and if you're new to my channel go ahead and hit the subscribe button to see more home holiday event wedding and DIY decor today I'm gonna show you how to make a round arch for your wedding ceremony or special celebration here we go A couple of weeks ago, I got a special request to make a round arch and I immediately fell in love with the idea and got very excited. So after some research and starting the design, here's what I came up with. Let's get started. All right guys, so here are all of the pipes that I'm going to need and the connectors that I'm going to need to make my round wedding arch or just a round arch because you can pretty much use this arch for any occasion. And all of the items that you see here are from Home Depot and you are going to need two one inch by 10 feet PEX B tubes, okay? And these are pretty much like PVC pipes, but they are a little different because they are bendy. And since they are not exactly a PVC pipe, the connectors are different, okay? These are one inch couplings, and they are made out of metal, and this is what's going to connect um, these two together to make a circle. Okay, so you're gonna need two of these and they're one inch. Now, for the stand, you are going to need regular PVC pipes and these are one and a half by 10 feet PVC pipe, okay, that I cut into all these pieces. So you're only gonna need one pipe, okay, and it's about five bucks. And then you are going to cut your one piece into all of these pieces and you are going to need two, three feet and four one feet, okay? And to connect or to make your stands, you are going to need T's, and these are one and a half T's, and then you're also going to need, you don't actually need them, but to me you do need them, which are the caps, because with that you are going to polish the look of your stand, and it's going to look neater, all right? So that's what you're gonna need. The very first thing I'm going to do is put my stands together. And I'm putting them together first because I'm going to be painting them and they're gonna need time to dry. Also, I'm not going to be painting the round arch because that's gonna be covered by decoration so there's no point to it, okay? So in order to put this together, which is very easy, all you have to do is grab your T and then grab your one inch or your one foot place it in there and grab your other one foot and place it on the opposite side. You can add glue if you would like. There is PVC pipe glue or you can add any permanent glue if you would like. I don't because I like to pull mine apart when I'm gonna take things down. So a mullet works just fine. And then you're gonna grab your caps and then you're gonna put it in on each side. And then you're gonna grab your three foot and then you're gonna place it in the middle. And then you're gonna grab your last cap and then you're gonna place it right on top. And there you have it, one stand. Now I'm gonna go ahead and paint them in metallic gold. While I wait for my stands to dry, I'm going to work on my decor, which are going to be balloons and some greenery, but I'm gonna work on the balloons right now. And I'm going to just give you a few tips. I'm not going to give you a full tutorial on how to make the um, balloon garland because I have done it a couple of times. So I'm just going to link a video. Oh, and by the way, I am so proud of Dollar Tree. They have pearlized balloons and look how pretty they are, I was so impressed. So I bought a few of these, probably about four. So I have about 100 balloons. I'm not sure if I'm gonna use them all, but I am so excited. Anyway, so I'm going to be using my balloon buddy because I am too lazy to blow balloons. And why would you, right? If you don't have to. Okay, so the first tip will be to place them directly onto your pipes 
But in order for you to do that, make sure not to over inflate your balloons, okay? So a lot of people are always asking me, how come your balloons always look nice and round? It's because I do not over inflate. In order to place that directly to the pipe, I like to tie the knot closer to the end so I can have room uh, to turn, okay? I'll show you in a bit. So let me blow up another one. Now you are going to tie them together at the end as well. So now you have this room right here that you can use to place around the pipe, okay? As so, you are going to twist, okay? And then you will do this all the way down. So that's tip number one. For tip number two, I will actually make a garland, which will require the help of a fishing line. And you have seen me do this plenty of times, so I'm just going to give you a couple of rounds of it because the star of this whole thing is the actual arch, okay? And I don't wanna bore you, especially if you've been subscribed for a while, I'm sure you don't wanna see the same thing over and over. So you're basically just going to pair a bunch of balloons together and then you are going to tie them regularly like you would do with any balloon. Uh, you don't have to um, make the space in the middle as I did for the other one. I like to tie my fishing line to a knob or something that's gonna help me keep it up. And then I'm just going to place the balloon over it and then wrap it around once or twice and then grab my next balloon, place it right on top and wrap the fishing line once or twice and then continue all the way down. And the reason I chose to use the garland instead of putting the balloon directly to my pipes is because my husband is not home today and you are definitely going to need to um, have two people to put the actual round pipes together because you know it's bendy and in order to put the couplings together or the connectors together you are going to need force to keep the whole circle together so that takes about two people or a strong one woman <laughs> not that i'm not strong i'm pretty strong but uh, i was trying to do it by myself and i was having a hard time i'm sure i could have accomplished it but why go through the hard times i don't believe in going through hard times if you don't have to i don't know about you guys <laughs> but i don't so yeah so when my husband's home tomorrow he doesn't work tomorrow he's going to help me uh, pull the pipes together and then I will have this ready already. So why wait, right? When I can just knock this out, uh, sit down, watch TV, and just put it together and just place it right on top the next day. Right? Right. So today is the next day. And FYI, I underestimated how many balloons I was going to need. So I ended up needing eight bags so that's about 200 balloons and that's because they're nine inch balloons so that's why i kind of underestimated it but yeah all right so now let's get started with the arch all right so what we're going to do is just place the couplings at the end of each pipe and just make the circle it's kind of simple but not let's do it let's go honey So right now we have a coupling on this end and then I can't even over there with my husband. There you go. So we have a coupling there and then we have a coupling right there. <laughs> Thanks, honey. And then we're just going to go ahead and put it together. Jump through. I am not a circus animal. Now we're the next. Now. All right, so there we have the round arch and on these sides are the stands that you guys saw earlier. And we're going to use a two and a half inch screw to attach them together. And we're going to go from the inside towards the outside. And we're also going to use a power tool. So what we're going to do now is create a hole to go through the tube into the cap uh, in order for us to place the screw afterwards. There it 
is. There's the first stand. Now we're gonna move on to the other side. It worked. Okay, so now all I have to do is decorate it. Okay guys, this is it. This is my round arch that you can either use for a wedding or for a special celebration. I was going to add some greenery to it, but I think with the color scheme, uh, it didn't go well with it. I did try it and I just didn't like it. So I decided to keep it off. Either way, the whole tutorial is about the actual arch and not the balloons, so it's fine. <laughs> and you can obviously add different decorations besides balloons. I just prefer balloons because they're inexpensive and they always look great. But you can add flowers or greenery or a combination of all of them. Anything will look amazing on this arch. Love it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, please make sure to give me a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, make sure to do so right here, right now. Also, leave me a comment, let me know what you thought of my brown arch, and leave me a comment anyway, because I love to chit chat with you guys all the time. And make sure to share, share, share. Sharing is caring. If you know of a friend or a family member that's getting married soon or having a special event, make sure to share with them at the end of this video. All right guys, until next time, bye. Barre, papi, barre. Thanks for helping, honey. <laughs>